Well, we got an ongoing situation in Baltimore that I had thought was resolved, but apparently this is ongoing. The mainstream media not wanting to talk a whole lot about this. This is not isolated to Baltimore. Matter of fact, we have seen multiple cities in Florida get hit with this ransomware attack within the past week or so. They coughed up over a million dollars in total out of Florida because of this ransomware attack. And initially, they had stated that they were going to cough up money in Baltimore. Well, if they did, the problem hasn't gone away. And what does that say if you have coughed up money? They're saying at this point that emails are not accessible, older ones. They're saying that the employees are incapable of accessing archived emails due to this ransomware infection that has disrupted the government operations for nearly two months. Two months this has been going on, folks. No one wants to talk about or act like anything's happening here. Any of the emails that are 90 days old or older are they're, they're unable to retrieve them this started on May 7th and this has caused a major disruption in the city big time now they say that the latest infection in Baltimore is the second suffered by the city in fewer than 14 months so they were targeted About a year ago, they were targeted here recently, starting two months ago. This is ongoing. They say that some of the computers have been restored and brought back online, but obviously, this isn't over. If they still cannot access certain files, it's ongoing. So I wanted to get the word out there and let it be known. They're still dealing with this in Baltimore. I will leave a link. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for breaking news and also over here on DLive for exclusive live streams and content that you're only going to find here. Links below.